What's up, everyone? Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Stoneyard Griddle. Tonight, we are going to be making chicken and broccoli stir fry. I'm not going to say that it's as good as a Chinese takeout restaurant, but at home, as cheaply as you can do it, I'd say this one gets a big thumbs up. I like making this probably once a week. It's just an easier, quicker kind of meal to throw together. And it doesn't take a lot to do. You just got to be kind of prepared for it. So, again, thanks for tuning in and let's get cooking. First down, we're going to steam the broccoli. It is a little bit colder out here. Probably, I don't know, it's not cold. I'd say it's probably 50, but I do have all my burners on medium. So we're going to get our broccoli on there. Hit them with a little bit of canola oil. We're going to throw down a quick pat of butter. And we're going to get the dome over them. This is just water. Lay it down. Trap the steam under there as best you can. Let that go for a little while. While that's going, this is important. We are going to make the stir fry sauce. I like making my own. It's not that hard. So first thing we're going to do, soy sauce. This is tamari soy sauce. You can really realistically use whatever you like. And I'd say uh, that much. How's that? There you go. Next. Sesame oil. Quick dash of that. Not too much. Mirin. Sweet and sake. Put some of that in there. Gross proportions, uh, I'd say probably uh, about a tablespoon and a half. How's that? How's that for accuracy? And as in a lot of Asian cooking, I like to add a goodly amount of garlic. Mix that all in. And what I like to do is just keep on messing with all the proportions until I get it to my taste. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to show you that because it's boring but we'll be right back. All right, so I've got that to taste. A couple minutes. Take a look at this broccoli. We want to get this broccoli nice and steamed so it's not too hard. Don't want to cook down to nothing. Don't want it too soggy, but we definitely don't want it raw. Give this a quick toss. Steam it for a little while longer. Kind of get it off to the side. So as far as the chicken goes, what I like to do is I get the cutlets that are kind of like pre-cut. And I like to just lightly flour them just a little bit. I just feel like it helps kind of thicken everything up, give it a little bit better consistency. So with those, these are going to go pretty quick. What we're going to do, canola oil, butter. Just take them and plop them right on. Once they're down, you really do want to make sure that you keep them moving pretty well because the griddle is pretty warm and these will fry up pretty quick. All right, we're going to leave those go for a minute. Let's check on our broccoli. Two spatulas. That broccoli looks really good at this point. What I'm going to do. I'm going to kill the heat on this side, and I'm actually going to go ahead and kill the heat all the way across. There's plenty of residual heat to cook the rest of this. And once that chicken's pretty much done, we're going to combine everything, get it all nice topped up together. And what I like to do. Take just a touch more of that sesame oil. 
This really helps out a lot with that takeout flavor. I mean, just a little drizzle. It doesn't take much of this stuff. And right before they come off, I don't know if this is normal, but I like water chestnuts. So I'm going to dump a whole can of those on there. One of these little cans. Get this all tossed up together. What we're going to do now. I'm going to get our bowl up to this side of the screen over here. I'm going to get it all bowled up. Because then we're going to add our sauce that we just made. I don't like doing the sauce on the flat top because it does tend to make it a little bit sticky. Right now I have no mess. So in we go with the sauce. Just dump it all up in there. Give it a toss. There we go. Chicken and broccoli stir fry. I'll get you guys down here for a closer look. So there we are. Chicken and broccoli stir fry in the Blackstone griddle. If you like this video, give me a like. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments. Consider subscribing to my channel. And as always, thanks for watching.